Are you looking to get professional sound and audio without breaking the bank? I think I have the microphone for you, so let's take a look at it. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Craig Kilgore and I make videos about filmmaking, tech, and other gear reviews. So let's get started. Today I have the Deity V-Mic D4 and I think it's great. It's a great option for getting professional sounding video without spending a lot of money. Before we get started, I wanna say Deity did send this microphone out to me to take a look at and review, but they are not paying me to say anything positive about this microphone. It is just my own opinions. And so anyway, let's get started. Taking a look at what comes in the box. First up, you get three cables. You get two USB-C to TRRS cables. That allows you to connect the microphone to your camera. And the unique thing about Deity is that this microphone will auto detect. It would auto sense what type of device you've connected the microphone to and it'll adjust accordingly. So whether you connect it to a, the microphone to a camera or you decide to connect it to a laptop, which you can do and record audio that way, or whether you decided to connect it to, let's say one of your smartphones, it automatically detects what type of connection it has and adjusts the microphone accordingly so that everything works seamlessly without having to need lots and lots and lots of cables. The windscreen, one of my favorite things about this windscreen is the fact that you can take it off easily. It just slides right off with not a lot of effort, not a lot of work. I've had other microphones where you have to really squeeze and, and uh, struggle to get the windscreen onto the microphone. But the way Deity has made this, it just slides on easily without a lot of strain, a lot of work, and a lot of frustration. You also get this dead cat that slides on top of the microphone. Again, very easy to install, very easy to slide it on and take it off. And the awesome thing about having a dead cat is that it will help you in windy conditions. If you're out vlogging or recording some content and like I had here yesterday, it was very, very windy outside, it was very cold. And this will help cut down on that wind noise so that you have to struggle trying to speak into the microphone and getting a lot of disturbance. I really wanted to take it out yesterday and, and record an example, but it was so cold. It was, I don't mind the wind, but it was so cold. With the wind chill, I think we were looking at about negative 10 degrees as far as how the weather feels. So that was too cold for me to mess around with, but trust me, it works well. Like most shotgun mics of this style, you get a nice shock mount. Uh, Deity has this dual shock mount that does a good job of keeping the, the microphone steady and not having a lot of vibration while you're trying to record some content. Um, I've had other microphones. I've had a lot of microphones and some of the shock mounts don't work so well. Um, any source of vibration can cause noise throughout the microphone and into your recording. And that's not something that you wanna have to deal with. And the way this shock mount is designed, it, it's pretty cool. It actually keeps the mic nice and sturdy and makes it so that it doesn't pick up any vibrations of you holding the camera or, or just trying to run a gun and, and get work done as you try to produce your content. On the back of the shock mount, they have what they call a sort of a reverse cold shoe. This allows you to connect, let's say any, you know, any sort of accessory that you may need back there. But for example, you can connect a wireless transmitter to the underside of this and plug your microphone into that transmitter. And now you have a wireless shotgun microphone setup that could be handy when you're trying to work with some sort of like boom setup or boom situation where you're trying to record the subject and you know you don't have the subject wired but you want to use a boom instead this this gives you the option of it's a really cool way to to capture audio without having to use a lav mic the other cool part about this is that the shock mount is adjustable so you can slide it forward or backward depending on the needs that you have. I know there's sometimes if you're, you have your camera and you're trying to take photos with a microphone attached to the top, if the microphone sits too far backwards, it would be hard 
for you to look through the viewfinder and compose uh, a photo or even video if you if you're using the the viewfinder that way so the fact that you can slide it forward to move it out of your view out of your way and keep it from contacting your face or your you know forehead or something like that it's just a, a added bonus not a lot of shock mounts do that so deity was really thinking ahead when they came up with this idea if you look at the bottom here you have the cold shoe adapter but you also inside here are able to connect a 1 8 connector and there's also a, an adapter inside that will change that connection to a quarter 20 so having that versatility is key i love the fact that i can adjust this on the fly depending on my my shooting setup sometimes you know you're using the boom pole or some sort of mic stand they're not always quarter 20 and then other times you do need quarter 20 so being able to use both is a godsend looking at the microphone itself one of the awesome things about it is the fact that it takes removable batteries um, i've had mics that have the capability to be recharged and that's that's fine that that can be handy it just depends on how you're working and what type of work you're doing but being able to take a battery out and slap a fresh one in and continue shooting and continue on with your day without having to worry about recharging i like that option and i think a lot of people do too and i think that's why deity added that ability another one of the great things about this microphone is the fact that it turns on when the camera turns on and it turns off when the camera turns off that may not sound like a big deal to some of you it depends on how much experience you have or how long you've been doing this but i have had microphones that you had to turn on individually and turn you know turn on the camera and start your recording and the problem with that is two things sometimes you forget to turn the microphone on and you're trying to record the content you're trying to record the scene and you've forgotten to turn on the microphone and the other problem is there are times you've remembered to turn on the microphone and you're shooting all to your heart's content and then you stop shooting and you move on to the next thing and you forget to turn off the microphone that can be a problem if the next part of your shooting is until later that day or maybe even the next day you get started and you forget that you left the microphone on and now it's dead trust me you don't want to be in a situation like that to where everyone's waiting on you because you have dead equipment you have batteries that need to be charged so a lot of microphones are starting to come with that feature and i would not own a microphone that doesn't turn on automatically and turn off automatically it's just that much of a big deal for me Looking at the side of the microphone here, you have this multi-port, this USB-C shaped port that you plug your audio cable into. And from there, you know, of course it goes to the camera or whatever type of device you're using. And like I said earlier, this is the smart port too. So it automatically detects what type of device that you have plugged the microphone into. And it just makes it that much easier, that much more convenient to shoot the content that you need to shoot. I know that some people love recording audio directly from the microphone to their laptop or you know whatever type of computer and this is the option for you this is a great setup for you it's not something that i typically do i like recording audio either directly to the phone or to the camera or to a field recorder i actually like the field recorder option much better because doing that allows me to connect various types of of, of microphones sometimes i'll have a lab and I'll have a shotgun mic, or it depends on what I'm doing. So having a field recorder allows me to get multiple sources of audio because trust me, you don't want to record and not have your audio. So I'm always paranoid about that. I'm the guy who has at least two copies or two tracks of audio, two types of audio being recorded at all times, even if it's just audio from the built-in microphone on the camera. At the back of the microphone here, you have this gain dial so where you can adjust the gain on the fly that goes from zero to 10. There's also a built in pad so that you can go from zero to negative five. Being able to adjust the gain on the fly is something I think all microphones should have from now on, especially these shotgun style microphones. Um, you don't always have time to dig into your menu to adjust the gain that way. 
Uh, so being able to just reach over and turn it up or turn it down, I think it's a clutch feature to have. So those are the basic features of the microphone and everything that comes in the box when you purchase it. So next I wanna show you guys what this sounds like, let you hear what it sounds like. So let's get out of here, let's get some place where I can test this. I already know what it sounds like, it sounds amazing, but I wanna share that with you guys, so let's get going. Okay, I've taken the camera and the microphone outside. I'm in my backyard just, just to see what it sounds like outside in an environment that's not controlled. Um, it's slightly windy out today. I do have the dead cat on, so this is what it sounds like outside slight breeze dead cat going on i'm um, looking at my audio levels they look pretty good so i think i've got it dialed in to what it should be for my my sony a7s3 uh, so let me go ahead and take off the dead cat and see if you guys can hear a difference so taking the dead cat off i like that you can take it off nice and easy fits on nice and easy not a whole lot of struggle so that makes things easier it makes my one man shooting go a lot smoother so anyway this is what it sounds like with just the windscreen on it without the dead cat and right now I can hear a car racing down the road I'm not sure if you guys can hear that um, speaking of that let's go ahead and check let's go ahead and test the off-axis noise rejection so this is a cardio microphone so right in front of it you have that pickup pattern and off to the sides it should be a little bit less and then even more so in the back of the camera. So let me go ahead and walk around the side. Doing my best to keep the same amount of distance. I'm about an arm's length away. So this is what it sounds like on the left side of the camera, left side of the microphone. It should be a little bit harder to hear me. It shouldn't be as clear. And as I walk around to the back of the camera, again, about an arm's distance away. I'm behind the camera, behind the microphone. And it shouldn't, it shouldn't be as clear. And then as I get to the right side of the camera, right side of the microphone, should be a little bit better. Should be able to hear me and understand me a little bit better. Just not as clear, not, it shouldn't sound as good as it does when you are in the front of the camera in front of the microphone. Again, about an arm's distance away. And that's what it sounds like. If you're curious, I can go ahead and take off the windscreen because like I said earlier, because like I said earlier, it just slides right off. And this is what it sounds like without the windscreen on it. And again, a slight breeze, not too much of a breeze today because I do have a fence around my backyard. It's kind of blocking some of the breeze, but you may still hear something. So we'll see. So now we're back in the studio, back in my basement. And what you heard before with the Deity V Mic D4 was unfiltered, unedited, unprocessed sound outside in an open environment in the wind. And you know, with everything that comes along with that. Currently, I have no processing, no post processing going on with the audio. And so I just wanted to give you guys a idea what it sounds like indoors without the wind and, and anything else going on and no other processing. So now I'm gonna switch over to processed audio. And now this is what it sounds like once you've processed the audio and to your liking and, and made it exactly how you want it to sound. So this is what it sounds like processed and finished. And this is what I would use to upload to YouTube or any other video projects that I'm working on. So that's it. I didn't wanna make this video too long. I didn't wanna spend, you know, 20 minutes testing and and reviewing there are other videos out like out there like that that go much deeper and much more scientific than what i would normally do on my channel so hopefully this video has been helpful if it has been please hit that like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video peace